Hello and welcome to a Talmud Israeli production. Today we'll review the highlights of this week's course of Daf Yomi study, Masechet Chagiga, pages 18 through 24, Yudchet through Chavdalad. 18. Mutarin behesped vetanit, shalol kayem medivrei homri matzert achar Shabbat. So, in the event that the Yom Tevoach, the day of the slaughter, in which the Olat Ri'iya and the Shalmei Chagiga of the holiday of Shavuot are brought not on the holiday proper, but rather on Sunday, and this delay is because the holiday fell on Shabbat when these sacrifices cannot be brought, then although we would normally have a festive occasion to mark the bringing of the sacrifices, we dumb down this occasion insofar as we allow eulogies, hesped, and we allow fasting, tanit, in order not to give any credibility to the theory of the Sadducees, the sectarian rivals of the sages, that in fact Shavuot always falls on a Sunday, because that is their viewpoint, that Mimacharat HaShabbat, that Shavuot must be on a Sunday every year, and so we disagree with that, and in order not to give any fuel to the fire, we dumb down the observance of Yom Tavoach when it happens to be on a Sunday. Yudtet, 19. Taval Allah. if a person went to the mikveh and came out of the mikveh, he can establish a level of purity for himself to whatever extent he wants, because in fact he is pure, he's come out of the mikveh, and he can designate this ritual immersion for a specific purpose. Now, Meitve, we ask a question, Nodeo Raglob Achat Bamaim, Huchzak Ladavar Kal, Machzikat Mo Davar Chamur. So if a person's foot is still in the mikvah waters and they had already uh, established that this immersion was for a lesser tier level of purification, they are still allowed to render themselves pure for a higher level because by mental designation with the foot still in the water, it works. So Allah shu veno machzik, but if he's fully come out of the water, then he can no longer establish himself in a state of purity. My love in a Is it not that when your when your foot is already out of the water and you're completely out of the mikvah, you cannot render yourself pure for any particular purpose, not even a low level purpose? Low. The Gemara says no. If you're still with one foot in the water, you can change your designation to a higher one. Allah, and if you're completely out, in if you have not yet established what the purpose of this immersion was for, you can do so right now. But if you've already done so, you can't change the designation. Chaf twenty. Yossi ben Yoezer, a chassid shpekahuna. Yossi ben Yoezer, who was one of the zugot, one of the paired leaders of the Second Temple times, he was the chassid shpekahuna, the, the pious, of, uh, most pious of all the Kohanim. And yet, despite the fact uh, that he was so pious, his mitpachat was midras, was considered impure for Kodesh, for sacrificial foodstuffs because sacrificial foodstuffs is a higher level than Kohanic Truma. Yochanan ben Gudgoda, Yochel Taras HaKodesh, Yochanan ben Gudgoda was even a higher level. He would eat chulen, even mundane foodstuffs, at a level of Kodesh. And yet, Haitamit Pachta Bidros Lachatas, his napkin, his, kerch- his handkerchief, was considered impure for the purposes of handling Mechatat, the ashes and water of the Paradu by the Red Heifer. 21. Eruv Mikvaot Kishvavarat Anod, so the rule of hashaka, of kissing, that when two bodies of water are touching each other to a certain extent, you can combine them for halachic purposes. This is very important for modern day mikvaot, for a mikvah. In, in, the, in the here and now, we typically don't immerse in rainwater. We, we immerse in tap water. But that tap water, which is chlorinated and heated, is touching to a very limited, limited extent uh covered body of water which was collected rainwater, which in fact nobody ever really goes into. It is preserved in a pristine state and just touches barely the body of tap water in which people immerse. Now, how much touching must occur? What is the space requirement? The answer is kishfoferita node, like the opening of a a wineskin bottle. Uh, and it has to be not just the opening, but also the thickness of the skin. How much is that? It's the thickness of two fingers twisting around and about comfortably. So not very much at all. Now, Chafbet. minaihu truma ma'amaretz. The tradition is we do not accept truma from an ma'amaretz because we think it's impure. Kodesh nami minai. But if we're worried about impurity, then we should not accept their sacrificial stuffs either. Um, well, the Gemara says if we were to reject their Kodesh, there'd be ill will in Klal Yisrael. We can't afford for a division of Klal Yisrael to that extreme. 
Truma and Amiyav Leheva, but if we reject their Truma, there will also be ill will between the Amaratzim and the Chavirim, the more pious Jews. Well, the answer is that Amaretz is not so offended by that, because worse comes to worse, he'll give his truma to a fellow Amaretz who happens to be a Kohen, and problem solved. It's only when it comes to the Beit HaMikdash and the Kodesh that we need to be on reasonable terms with all Jews. Chaf Gimel. There was an incident involving a certain person who was transporting the ashes of the red heifer and the purification waters across the Jordan River by boat. And it turned out that there was a, an olive's bulk of, of, of dead flesh, of a human flesh, of a corpse, underneath the floorboards of the boat, and that it invalidated thereby the legitimacy of this Efer uh, Chatat, the, the waters of the Paraduma. And that's terrible because it's, it's in limited supply. So both Shamru, in that moment they declared, From this day forward, no one is allowed to transport the ashes of the red heifer by boat across the Jordan River, because we can't take any chances that a problem will arise again. A person who is an Onin, a person who uh, lost a, an immediate relative for which they have to observe the rites of mourning, uh, so if a person was an Onin, or a Mechusa Kippurim, a person who was impure due to some bodily impurity and is waiting to bring his sacrifice, but has already gone to the mikveh. So such people require immersion in the mikveh for eating Kodesh, but not for eating Truma. Why? My timer. Well, the answer is because up until this moment they were forbidden, so now if they want to become permitted, they have to rectify the situation with an immersion in the mikveh. Everyone have a great week.